All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thought I would give you an update here on what's going on with the arcade machine. Uh, so as you can see, or I think you can see, the screen is a little different. I'm actually using one of those uh, Uni Unico ULM26 LCD monitors. This is a replacement monitor that comes in a 4x3 aspect ratio that's intended for arcade machines. I'm actually running that on a computer in here. Um, so I'm running a Radeon 7, I believe, or 5 or 7. It's a X5800 in here. And I'm running a uh, RTX 4060 graphics card. Coming out of HDMI, I'm going through a VGA converter because there is a known issue with this monitor uh, where if you feed it a regular HDMI cable, it will not display at the native resolution. Uh, but if you feed it VGA, it will. And speaking of which, there was some controversy about this monitor when it first came out. Uh, it was supposed to be a 1200p monitor, or at least that's what a lot of people thought. In fact, this is a 1024 by 768 resolution. Um, but I knew that going into it, so I really didn't have the same concerns that a lot of those other reviewers had uh, when they originally purchased this. I am running it at 1024 by 768. And I've put uh, a couple shaders on inside of RetroArch and MAME to try and give it somewhat of a CRT look. So let me bring you in for a closer look so you can kind of see how it looks. All right, so there's pretty close up. I am using the um, CRT Geome Deluxe shader inside of MAME here. And uh, that's on right now. You can see it kind of has a CRT look to it. If I go ahead and turn it off, you'll see that is what it looks native. Um, so it's not bad, but I, I prefer that shader turned on. So let me get that back on. And uh, let's run through a couple other games and maybe some retro art so you can see that. All right, uh, let's do a vertical game. I always do Dota and Pachi. Let's see, Moochie Moochie Pork. All right, well, we're still in MAME here. Let's go and uh, get some retro arch going. I believe I have the same shader turned on over here in RetroArch. You do get a bit of a CRT look, although it does look a little different than what you see inside of MAME. So uh, I, I don't know if maybe they're just implementing it slightly different. All right, and a lot of the reason why I wanted to try this um, 
monitor was a lot of the techno parent stuff that I wanted to play does not work at uh, 240p. So I, I wanted to be able to play some of these newer games and they do kind of let, well, some of them kind of letterbox on this screen, like Street Fighter V here is a good example, uh, but at least I can play them on my arcade machine. So. And this is actually running at the native resolution, so this is uh, about as good as it can look. So you can see what I'm talking about here where I got black bars at the top and bottom of the screen. Um, but I mean it gives me the opportunity to play stuff like this that I just could not play when I had the CRT in here. So. Let's look at some other stuff on here. Alright, well there's the CRT effect. So I think maybe PlayStation, the PlayStation Core might not have had it set, but uh, you can see Sega Genesis does have it set. All right, so overall, um, I think I still prefer a nice CRT. Um, however, this is a lot easier to get going. You don't have to worry about those CRT ME drivers or anything like that. 
to get this going. I haven't really noticed any significant lag with it. Um, so yeah, I gotta say I'm pretty happy with it. So let me know what you guys are interested in seeing and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.